Hey guys, so I've been making Rocket League YouTube videos for the past year, and I thought now might be a good time to show you guys behind the scenes and give you a little glimpse into how exactly I make my videos. This will serve as a super quick 5 minute introduction into how I make a video. So if you're interested in a more detailed video about this, let me know down in the comments, cause I'd love to make it if you guys are interested. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. Firstly, here's a quick list of all of the gear and software that I use to make my videos. As you can see, it's all very basic stuff. I use my iPhone 7 to record my voice. I use Windows 10 Capture to record all my clips. 3D Paint for image editing. And Filmora 10 for video editing. Other than that, I've got a tripod and a phone mount so I don't have to hold my phone while recording my voice and a $10 pop filter to filter out any pops in my audio from P's and B's, which is super important. The main advice I want to give you guys about gear is that, when you're just starting out on YouTube, don't feel the need to spend a whole lot of money on gear and software. Use whatever gear you have around the house already, be creative and resourceful, and only buy things you absolutely need. Okay, so my basic video making process goes like this. First up, I'll obviously come up with an idea for a video. This often comes from news or events in the Rocket League community, like a new bundle or an update. Or if there's nothing going on, I might make a tutorial video that comes from my huge document of Rocket League video ideas. Then I'll write the script. This can take anywhere from an hour where I write one script in a single session, or three to four hours, maybe over a couple of days, of writing, revising, deleting whole scripts, and just repeating the process until I get something that I really like. Then I'll record the script in the quietest room in my house, which is my bedroom. My phone is mounted on the tripod, and my pop filter is placed in front of that. Once I record my script, I'll take that and import it into Filmora. Then I slice up the audio, removing all of the mistakes and other parts that I don't want and add in dividers for the title screens of each section, just to give the video some structure that I can easily see. And I'll end up with two tracks that look like this. At this point, I usually add music tracks to the project, adding even more structure to the video. Each part of the video should have a slightly different vibe to it, as the topic changes from part one to part two and so on. And the music really helps to create that vibe. And now I'm up to the point where I need to actually create the video. For video clips and images, I get these from two main sources. The first is I find them on websites and YouTube channels like the official Rocket League website and YouTube channel. This will include things like trailers, promotional images and blog posts. And the second place is video and screenshots that I record myself. Most of these come from Rocket League itself. So I'll go into the menus and the garage and record clips, or I'll go into matches or training, or the in-game replay editor. Then basically I just take those clips and I go through the project from start to finish, gradually adding more and more clips into it to build the video piece by piece. When I reach a part that I don't have a clip for yet, I'll just go and record it and add it in. Okay, so that's the fundamental process of how I go about making a video. So now I want to give you guys some really good tricks that I use for making my videos as high quality as possible. We'll start with some audio tricks. When recording your voice for the video, if you do use your phone for it, make sure you identify exactly where the microphone is on your phone. Usually it's at the bottom. Once you know where it is, make sure the microphone is angled up towards your mouth when recording. You don't want it facing away from your mouth because that'll have a huge impact on the audio quality. If you don't have a pop filter and don't want to buy one, you can basically use any kind of material for this. For probably the first six months of making videos, I just used a dryer sheet and a laundry net draped over my phone or hung in front of my phone. This works really well and is basically the same as an actual pop filter. It's just a bit more annoying to work with. My third tip is when you're cutting all of your voice clips, cut them as close as possible to the starts and finishes of each of your sentences. 
This helps to avoid any lip smacking noises from making it into your video. And my final audio trick is related to the last one. You want to create a background track to bridge the gaps between all of your audio clips. So this basically just involves recording a blank audio track in your normal recording space. So I just left my phone sitting on my tripod recording silence for a few minutes. Then I cut out pieces of that and fill in all of the spaces between all of my voice clips. I won't go into why this is important, just trust me, it is. Okay, now for the video tricks. The absolute best advice that I can give people starting out making videos is to create a background video track. This will be video that plays when you don't have any other ideas for what to put in its place during the video. For me, I use a video that I recorded in the drop shot map in Rocket League. I basically just drove around during a replay in the fly mode and recorded this for use in my videos. Then I added a blur effect over the top of it. My second tip is that whenever you add text on the screen, such as in a title screen or to make a statement to the viewer, add the blur effect to the video underneath it. This adds a professional feeling to the video and helps make the text clearer. And the last tip is make your transitions as clean as possible. Transitions are one of the most important things to give your video a clean look. If they're too jumpy or too abrupt, they can easily make the viewer uncomfortable. So try to sync them with your music as much as you can and edit out any sudden changes in the video during the transitions. And that's it. That's my super quick 5 minute intro to making a Mogs YouTube video. As I said at the start, if you guys want a more in-depth look into any of this stuff, let me know down in the comments. I could honestly make this video 30 minutes long and go into crazy detail on every part, but I wanted to keep it as short as possible for the first video. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this I guess, and a whole bunch of Rocket League content. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.